Okay, this is what we're going to make today. This is a uh, chicken uh, fried rice. There's very little chicken in it. And in fact, you can actually leave the chicken out if you want to, uh, to remain vegetarian. Or you could put in um, the same quantity of tofu. Right, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is slice up um, this chicken. Um, and then we'll get some um, uh, marinade into it. Right, there it is, all nicely chopped up. And we're going to add to that... One tablespoon of low or reduced salt soy sauce. <clears throat> and one of dark soy sauce. And then we're going to add about a teaspoon of baking soda. Right, baking soda's been found now, so we're just going to put a teaspoon of that in there. And then I'm going to set this aside for half an hour, so that it tenderises. And whilst that's doing that, I can chop these vegetables, which I'll give you a look at in a minute. I can already see that here racing. So, so here are our vegetables. Now, I've got some leftover capsicum, a carrot, about a third of a red onion, some uh, green beans, and some peas. I'll use this, um, uh, these green onions or spring onions afterwards um, to. Um, for garnish um, and I've also got two eggs which um, uh, before we do the vegetable chopping I'm going to fry up and I'll show you how so first in with the oil just a little bit just to really stop stop it from catching um, and I've got some eggs here and I'm just going to whisk those up Right, and once that pan's nice and hot, I can pour that egg in. And once it begins to set a bit like that, you can get in there with your... There. And then just let some fresh Eggs start to cook there. And then you can start chopping it up into bits. Just later on we'll return this to the pan to mix it in with the vegetables. And the rice. So there we have it. Turn that off and we'll pop that to one side as well. See the vegetables are ready. I've split them into two. On the right hand side we've got the slower cooking onions, carrots, red capskin. They'll go in first. And then the peas and beans on the left hand side. They'll cook quite quickly so they can go in second. Rightio, back in a moment to put it all together. Right, first we're going to drizzle in some oil. Probably need a bit more than that. The rice, once it gets in, will start to eat that up. 
no problem at all. So, got more. There we are. That'll make sure we don't allow our rice to dry out. Now, firstly, in with the red onion. Then the carrot. Going to be some nice colours in this. And the red capsicum. Right, I'm going to give that a good five minutes. Right, it's going along quite nicely now. So we'll pop the garlic in. And just a note on the garlic whenever you are using garlic, make sure you use locally grown garlic wherever you are in the world um, it will be fresher and the freshness of it will be the all-important fragrance and flavour <coughs> so get it fresh is what I say now in with our peas and beans Our chicken. And we'll keep turning that chicken and we'll be cooking it for roughly 10 minutes because I have chopped the chicken up quite small. Now there's a temptation because it doesn't look that look like there's that much moisture going on. But if you can keep it from catching, leave it there where it is so it will crisp the chicken. The veggies have only just been in there, the ones that could stick, um, so they won't. Right, it's in with the rice. And of course the egg as well. <coughs> now we've got to get quick here because we want to get that soy colour through the rice. Back in a minute. Right, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? Now it's a couple of minutes and uh, let's serve. And there you go, it's beautiful isn't it? All served up, it's just garnished with some spring onions and then let's just get tucked in. Alright, if you've enjoyed seeing this and you've watched all the way through, thank you very much. Um, uh, but please subscribe if you want to see more yummy recipes like this. Um, and uh, I will catch you on the next recipe.